If one gives in too much to others, it becomes necessary to lose oneself, as Seneca said. We are often told to be kind and prioritize the needs of others over our own. However, does anyone warn us that being too kind and caring can be dangerous? We live in a world where we don't always get back what we give because it is full of generous people who see how their generosity drains them both financially and emotionally. It could even be dangerous for our own lives to be too kind. Let me tell you today about eight bad things that can happen to you if you are too kind, and I will show you four tough ways to prevent people from taking advantage of you. Let's get straight to the first point. 1. Setting high expectations for others. According to the Stoics, a philosophy that emerged in ancient Greece, adopting a mindset of accepting things as they are and not relying on others for our happiness, is essential for cultivating a tranquil and content life. The Stoic teachings emphasize the importance of self-control and emotional resilience in the face of external circumstances. One key aspect of this philosophy is the notion of giving without attaching excessive expectations to the actions of others. In practical terms, setting high expectations for others often leads to disappointment and frustration. The Stoics argue that expecting reciprocation in equal measure for the kindness or generosity we extend can be a recipe for discontent. By adopting a more self-sufficient perspective and understanding that external factors are beyond our control, individuals can liberate themselves from the emotional turmoil that comes with unmet expectations. The practice of giving without expecting too much in return serves as a powerful tool for personal development. It encourages individuals to detach their emotional well-being from external validation, fostering emotional resilience and inner strength. When we liberate ourselves from the need for others to reciprocate our actions, we create space for a calmer and more composed state of mind. Furthermore, the stoic emphasis on accepting things as they are extends beyond interpersonal relationships. It encompasses a broader philosophy of life, encouraging individuals to navigate the complexities of existence with equanimity. By acknowledging that not everything is within our control and that external events are indifferent to our desires, Stoicism offers a practical approach to finding peace amidst life's uncertainties. In essence, the Stoic perspective on setting high expectations for others urges individuals to cultivate a mindset that prioritizes internal contentment over external validation. By practicing the art of giving without excessive expectations, individuals can build emotional resilience, foster a tranquil state of mind, and navigate life's challenges with a greater sense of inner peace. 2. People expecting more from you. In the Stoic philosophy, there is a profound emphasis on the idea that true value arises from acting in a manner that is both virtuous and rational. Stoicism encourages individuals to prioritize actions based on moral integrity and sound reasoning rather than merely conforming to the desires and expectations of others. This perspective underscores the importance of maintaining personal authenticity and adhering to one's principles even in the face of external pressures. When it comes to interactions with others, the Stoic teachings caution against excessive giving without regard for the underlying principles of goodness and rationality. While generosity and benevolence are valued, the Stoics advocate for a balanced approach that aligns with ethical considerations. Excessive giving, without a foundation in virtue and reason, may inadvertently create an expectation in others that you will consistently fulfill their needs or desires. The potential consequence of consistently meeting others' expectations without a principled foundation is the development of dependency. When individuals become accustomed to receiving more than what is reasonable or sustainable, a reliance on your constant provision may emerge. This dependence can lead to imbalanced relationships, where your actions are driven more by external expectations than by a commitment to ethical conduct and logical decision-making. In navigating such situations, Stoicism encourages individuals to prioritize their own moral compass and act in accordance with virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. This involves setting clear boundaries and communicating openly about the principles that guide your actions. By aligning your behavior with the Stoic ideals of virtuous living, you not only maintain your own authenticity, but also contribute to fostering healthier and more balanced relationships. Ultimately, the Stoic perspective on people expecting more from you underscores the importance of acting in ways that are rooted in virtue and reason. By doing so, you not only uphold your own integrity, 
but also encourage others to appreciate and respect you for your principled approach to life. Fostering relationships that are built on a foundation of mutual understanding and ethical conduct. 3. Neglecting your own goals. In the realm of personal well-being, the philosophy of prioritizing the needs of others over one's own carries inherent risks, as highlighted by Stoic principles. Stoicism, with its focus on self-awareness and individual virtue, underscores the importance of not losing oneself in the pursuit of external demands. When individuals consistently prioritize the needs of others to the detriment of their own goals and well-being, they may inadvertently be avoiding or neglecting crucial aspects of their own inner selves. Self-care emerges as a cornerstone in this stoic perspective, acknowledging that maintaining a healthy and balanced life necessitates attention to one's own needs and aspirations. The stoics argue that a neglect of personal goals in favor of solely catering to the needs of others can lead to a disconnection from one's authentic self. By continually diverting attention away from personal ambitions, Individuals risk running away from introspection and self-discovery, hindering the pursuit of their own aspirations. Essentially, the Stoic philosophy encourages a balanced approach that acknowledges both the importance of contributing to others' well-being and the necessity of self-care. Before extending assistance to others and helping them on their journeys, individuals must first ensure their own happiness and well-being. This is not an act of selfishness, but rather a recognition that a depleted and unfulfilled self is less equipped to provide meaningful support to others. In practical terms, prioritizing self-care involves recognizing one's own goals, aspirations, and emotional needs. It requires setting boundaries and allocating time and energy toward personal growth and fulfillment. By aligning one's actions with a commitment to personal well-being, individuals not only cultivate a deeper connection with themselves, but also enhance their capacity to contribute meaningfully to the lives of others. In essence, the Stoic perspective on neglecting one's own goals underscores the importance of self-care as a prerequisite for effective and meaningful engagement with the needs of others. By fostering a balanced approach that prioritizes both personal aspirations and the well-being of others, individuals can navigate life's complexities with a greater sense of authenticity, purpose, and resilience. 4. Perceived Weakness In the Stoic philosophy, the concept of perceived weakness emerges as a cautionary consideration when it comes to excessive assistance to others. Stoicism, with its emphasis on inner strength and self-discipline, suggests that a continuous pattern of offering extensive help may inadvertently lead others to perceive you as weak. This perception arises from the Stoic principle that true strength lies in exercising self-control, resilience, and the ability to set boundaries effectively. Stoicism encourages individuals to cultivate a robust sense of self-discipline, advocating for actions that align with reasoned judgment, rather than being driven solely by external expectations. In the context of helping others, the Stoic perspective acknowledges the importance of balance, acknowledging the needs of others while maintaining a clear understanding of one's own limits. By setting appropriate boundaries, Individuals not only safeguard their well-being, but also project an image of strength and resilience. When assistance is given without discernment or without establishing clear limits, there is a risk of being perceived as someone easily taken advantage of. The Stoics argue that such a perception can undermine the respect and credibility one earns from others. Instead of cultivating an image of strength and self-discipline, an individual may unintentionally project an aura of vulnerability potentially inviting exploitation or manipulation. To avoid this perception of weakness, Stoicism encourages individuals to exercise prudence in their actions and decisions. This involves discerning when to offer assistance and when to assert boundaries, thereby reinforcing the Stoic ideals of self-control and rationality. By doing so, individuals not only protect their own well-being, but also foster an environment where their contributions are respected and valued. In summary, the Stoic perspective on perceived weakness cautions against the pitfalls of offering help indiscriminately, emphasizing the importance of setting boundaries as a means of projecting strength and self-discipline. By aligning actions with Stoic principles, individuals can navigate the delicate balance between assisting others and maintaining their own resilience, ultimately earning respect rather than being perceived as vulnerable or easily taken advantage of. 5. Attracting Takers 
not givers. Within the Stoic philosophy, there exists a practical consideration regarding the consequences of excessive giving, the potential to attract individuals who are more inclined to take without reciprocation. Stoicism, with its emphasis on wisdom and discernment, suggests that indiscriminate and unbounded generosity can inadvertently draw in individuals who may be primarily motivated by their own needs or opportunistic tendencies. The Stoics argue for the cultivation of relationships based on patience, discernment, and a careful consideration of the character of those with whom one engages. Giving without discretion may lead to attracting takers, individuals who are more focused on receiving than giving. This dynamic can create imbalanced relationships, where your contributions are disproportionately exploited, potentially resulting in feelings of resentment and dissatisfaction. Stoicism encourages individuals to approach relationships with a discerning mindset, exercising prudence in determining the intentions and motivations of others. By building connections based on mutual respect and genuine reciprocity, individuals align their actions with the Stoic principles of wisdom and justice. In doing so, they actively work to avoid relationships characterized by one-sided expectations and imbalances. Building on the Stoic philosophy, it becomes evident that attracting givers rather than takers involves a nuanced understanding of the dynamics at play in interpersonal relationships. Patience becomes a virtue, allowing individuals to observe and assess the character of those they engage with over time. This measured approach helps to establish connections with individuals who share similar values of reciprocity, leading to more meaningful and mutually beneficial relationships. 6. Self-Destructive Dependency Within the Stoic framework, there exists a cautionary perspective regarding the potential consequences of excessive giving. The risk of developing a self-destructive dependency. Stoicism, with its focus on cultivating inner resilience and balance, suggests that an unbridled commitment to helping others may lead to a detrimental state where one becomes addicted to this pattern of behavior, inadvertently neglecting their own well-being. Stoicism underscores the importance of maintaining a harmonious relationship with oneself, acknowledging that neglecting personal well-being in the pursuit of external validation or assistance can have adverse effects. The risk of self-destructive dependency arises when the act of giving becomes a compulsive behavior driven by a need for external affirmation or a sense of purpose. This dependency can manifest in neglecting personal boundaries, overextending oneself, and prioritizing others at the expense of one's own physical and mental health. The Stoics advocate for a balanced approach that involves recognizing the limits of one's capacity to give. In the context of excessive giving, this means understanding that self-care is not only essential, but is also a virtuous act. Neglecting personal well-being can lead to the development of unhealthy habits and coping mechanisms as individuals seek solace or distraction from the challenges posed by their self-imposed, unsustainable patterns of behavior. To counteract the potential for self-destructive dependency, Stoicism encourages individuals to cultivate a disciplined and discerning approach to their actions. This involves setting clear boundaries, prioritizing self-care, and recognizing the importance of maintaining one's own equilibrium. By doing so, individuals align their behavior with Stoic principles, fostering a sense of inner strength and resilience that serves as a foundation for both personal well-being and meaningful contributions to others. 7. Questionable Motives In the Stoic philosophy, there exists a pragmatic consideration regarding the potential consequences of excessive kindness the risk of raising suspicions about one's motives. Stoicism, with its emphasis on authenticity and virtue, suggests that an overt display of kindness, especially when perceived as excessive, may lead others to question the sincerity behind such actions. Instead of generating genuine admiration and gratitude, individuals might become suspicious, wondering if there are ulterior motives or hidden agendas behind the seemingly altruistic gestures. Stoicism encourages individuals to align their actions with genuine virtue, emphasizing the importance of sincerity and authenticity in their interactions with others. Acts of kindness that stem from a genuine desire to contribute to the well-being of others are consistent with Stoic ideals. However, when kindness is perceived as excessive or insincere, it can inadvertently create doubts about one's true intentions. 
The Stoic perspective on questionable motives underscores the need for individuals to exercise moderation and discernment in their actions. Acts of kindness should be guided by a sincere commitment to virtue rather than an attempt to gain favor, manipulate perceptions, or conceal ulterior motives. By practicing authenticity and transparency in their interactions, individuals can foster trust and genuine connections, aligning with Stoic principles of ethical conduct. Moreover, the Stoic teachings caution against over-reliance on external validation. Seeking excessive approval through ostentatious acts of kindness may lead to a distancing effect, as individuals may perceive such behavior as calculated or disingenuous. To mitigate this risk, Stoicism encourages individuals to cultivate a sense of self-worth that is independent of external validation, emphasizing the importance of internal integrity over the perceptions of others. 8. Making People Think Within the Stoic philosophy, there's a contemplative aspect concerning the potential outcomes of living in accordance with one's beliefs and principles, the prospect of evoking skepticism from others. Stoicism, with its emphasis on living a virtuous life in alignment with one's principles, acknowledges that consistently adhering to one's convictions might prompt others to question the motives behind such actions. Despite the hope for gratitude, individuals may find themselves facing skepticism as observers ponder why they consistently exhibit kindness or act in a principled manner. Stoicism encourages individuals to prioritize living in accordance with their virtues and principles, advocating for a life guided by moral integrity and authenticity. Acts of kindness and adherence to principles are valued in Stoicism, but the philosophy recognizes that external perceptions may not always align with internal intentions. When one's behavior consistently reflects virtuous living, it might inadvertently raise doubts in the minds of those who question the authenticity or hidden motives behind such actions. The Stoic perspective on making people think underscores the importance of being resilient in the face of skepticism. While genuine acts of kindness are inherent to a virtuous life, external reactions are beyond an individual's control. Stoicism teaches individuals to focus on the things they can control, their beliefs, principles, and actions, rather than seeking external validation or approval. Furthermore, Stoicism encourages individuals to engage in open and honest communication to bridge the gap between their intentions and external perceptions. By explaining the motivations behind their actions, individuals can contribute to a better understanding of their principled approach to life, potentially dispelling doubts and fostering meaningful connections. 9. Be mindful of your feelings. In the realm of Stoic philosophy, an essential consideration is placed on self-awareness, particularly in the context of how actions impact one's well-being. The guidance is clear. Pay close attention to how helping others makes you feel. Stoicism underscores the importance of self-reflection and mindfulness, urging individuals to be conscious of the emotional and mental toll that constant giving may take on their own state of being. If the act of helping others consistently leaves you feeling exhausted or mentally drained, the Stoic philosophy encourages a thoughtful reassessment of your approach. Stoicism advocates for a balanced life, where acts of kindness and generosity are conducted with mindfulness, taking into account one's own capacity and well-being. This introspective approach aligns with Stoic principles of self-discipline and rationality, emphasizing that virtue extends not only to actions toward others, but also to the maintenance of one's own inner equilibrium. Stoicism acknowledges the inherent connection between actions and emotions, urging individuals to navigate their lives with a sense of balance and self-care. If the act of helping others becomes a source of exhaustion, it may signal the need to establish clear boundaries and allocate time and energy to personal well-being. This process of self-evaluation is integral to maintaining emotional resilience and preventing burnout. 10. Don't fear saying no. In the Stoic philosophy, the wisdom of embracing the power of saying no is a cornerstone of self-mastery and principled living. Stoicism encourages individuals to recognize the intrinsic value of their time and energy, emphasizing the importance of cultivating a sense of self-respect and discernment when it comes to accepting or declining requests. The act of saying no within the Stoic framework is not a manifestation of callousness but rather a demonstration of prudence and self-awareness. 
By acknowledging the finite nature of time and energy, individuals align their actions with stoic principles of rationality and temperance. This intentional decision to decline unfair or unreasonable requests is an exercise in personal responsibility, ensuring that one's resources are allocated judiciously and in accordance with one's values. Stoicism teaches that the fear of saying no often stems from external pressures, societal expectations, or a desire to please others at the expense of one's own well-being. By overcoming this fear and learning to assert boundaries, individuals cultivate a sense of inner strength and autonomy. This aligns with the Stoic ideal of living in harmony with one's principles and maintaining control over one's reactions to external demands. In practical terms, the Stoic philosophy encourages individuals to evaluate requests with a discerning eye, considering their own capacity and the ethical implications of the situation. Saying no becomes an act of self-respect and a commitment to a life guided by virtue. It serves as a reminder that personal boundaries are essential for maintaining a balanced and fulfilling existence. 11. Respect your time and space. Within the Stoic philosophy, the practice of self-discipline extends to the intentional allocation of dedicated time for personal well-being. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of respecting one's time and space as an integral aspect of virtuous living. To embody this principle, individuals are encouraged to establish boundaries and exercise self-discipline in managing their time effectively. The Stoic approach advocates for a mindful allocation of time for self-care, reflection, and personal growth. This dedicated time serves as a foundation for maintaining inner equilibrium and resilience. It is crucial for individuals to recognize the value of this time and to approach it with a sense of reverence, understanding its significance in cultivating a well-balanced and fulfilling life. When faced with requests that encroach upon this designated personal time, Stoicism suggests the practice of politely declining without compromising one's principles. This act of self-respect involves communicating the importance of the allocated time while expressing a willingness to help at a more suitable and mutually agreeable moment. In doing so, individuals honor their commitments to self-discipline and virtue while demonstrating consideration for others. By approaching requests in this manner, individuals uphold the stoic ideals of wisdom and temperance. They navigate the delicate balance between assisting others and maintaining their own well-being, avoiding the potential pitfalls of excessive giving that may lead to self-neglect. This intentional and principled approach contributes to a life guided by virtue, self-discipline, and a harmonious integration of personal and interpersonal responsibilities. 12. Identify energy drainers. Within the Stoic philosophy, the concept of identifying energy drainers aligns with the principles of wisdom, discernment, and the careful management of one's emotional well-being. Stoicism encourages individuals to cultivate self-awareness, and recognize the impact of relationships on their overall sense of tranquility and virtue. The Stoic approach involves a thoughtful assessment of interpersonal dynamics to identify those individuals who consistently drain one's energy without offering any positive contributions in return. These energy drainers may manifest in various forms. Individuals who are consistently negative, critical or demanding without reciprocating support or positivity. Once identified, Stoicism advocates for maintaining a mindful distance from such individuals. This intentional distancing is not rooted in animosity, but rather in the pursuit of personal well-being and the preservation of inner tranquility. By disengaging from relationships that consistently take without giving, individuals align their actions with stoic principles of temperance and the wise use of resources, including emotional energy. The Stoic philosophy recognizes that sustaining relationships with those who perpetually drain energy can hinder personal growth and compromise emotional resilience. By exercising discernment and setting boundaries, individuals prioritize their own well-being, fostering an environment conducive to the cultivation of virtues such as wisdom, courage, and inner peace. In conclusion, achieving a harmonious balance in life is paramount, and the principle of generosity is no exception. Strive for nuanced perspectives that enable you to find equilibrium between fulfilling the needs of others and attending to your own well-being. In times of uncertainty, always bear in mind the empowering nature of the word no. I genuinely trust that these insights prove valuable to you. If this video has been beneficial, provoked thought, or imparted knowledge, 
kindly express your appreciation by giving it a thumbs up. By doing so, you contribute to the broader dissemination of the profound teachings of Stoicism, aiding more individuals in their pursuit of wisdom and personal growth. If you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to this channel for a daily infusion of Stoic wisdom and insights into the journey of human development. Thank you for your engagement, and may your path be guided by the principles of balance and virtue.